Hi, this is Mark Siegel, and in this video I want to show a couple of, of the more advanced options that you can find under Google Forms. So this was a form that I've already created uh, with some basic questions in it, and one, the first thing I want to talk about is something called data validation. So I'm going to go to the open-end questions. Now these questions for data validation only work in non-multiple choice and grid drop-down questions. So in this text-based question, I was asking this, the person to put in their name, uh, first and last name. So if I click under data validation, I can see some options pop up. And if I click the checkbox, I can see now that I have choices of numbers, text, or expressions. So for under number, I can see I can choose a variety of different possible numbers. So for example, if you were using this as a quiz and you knew the answer was 25, you could say, okay, well, you can give hints to the students so that they can say, um, you know, the number has to occur between 20 and 30, okay? Uh, and then give them a customer response so that if you know that there's common mistakes, you can adjust accordingly. But if you're using text, for example, it contains, does not contain an email address or a URL. So for something like name, we don't really need data validation. But my next question was about email. And you know you get this all the time where you ask someone for their email and they don't write it properly. Okay. So this is going to contain a URL. I'm sorry, this is going to contain an email address. And I know it's going to contain an email address. So, so you can write as the response, please submit a valid email address. You get a lot of this. So the person will put their whole name, and then they'll put their email address at the end. So, Or, hi, my name is John's dad, and uh, this is my email address. If you only want email addresses, this is a great way to narrow that down. If you're going to add a question, like I said, and it's going to be a text, and it's going to be a regular expression, you can have certain words pop up. For example, the response has to contain water, you know, kind of thing. So it's got to contain certain words. If it doesn't contain certain words, it's going to kick the question back and not allow them to respond when you do that question. So that was trick number one. Trick number two is I want to show you this um, pre-filled URL option. So if you click on responses and you go to pre-filled URL, what it'll actually do is let's say you want a certain response to always pop up as your first response. So you want this last question to be um, water at all times. And you click submit. When you go to send out the form and you copy this URL, so I'm going to copy by clicking Control C and I'm going to go up to a new tab. I'm going to paste it in there and you'll be able to see what happens. And if I scroll down, Word is already in there. Now, is that word changeable? Absolutely. So you could do, instead of doing help text, you could do a pre done response. And you could have a pre done response in that one particular box, which the person can then change if they wanted to, but it kind of gives them a hint. So that's another option you can use in, in Google Forms. And the last one I want to do is going to be with the dates and the times. So let's say I want to insert a new question, and my question is going to be a date question. And I want to include a time. So let's say you are a very busy person and you want the students to schedule with you a time to come during advisory for extra help. So this would be, let's say, advisory extra help request question. The student can include, obviously we don't care about the year because it has to be this year. They could say, okay, well, I want them to choose the month, the date, the hour, and whether or not it's AM or PM and make this a required question so that when the student wants to, they put their name, their email address, and then they can put, put which time that they want to, to uh, meet with me. And all of this will go into a spreadsheet. And now I can see exactly on my spreadsheet you know, what dates and times that they want to meet with me right here. So I can say, oh, I can see that Harrison Ford wants to meet with me on March 28th at 2.30. Great. 
I could see it and I could check that each and every day and just tell the students they have to submit the day before. I walk in at 7 o'clock in the morning, boom, I can see all my extra help requests in one nice neat location.